Welcome back to the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel. Today's episode, we're back on the field find split, working on the birdcage. We're gonna make some patches to fix the passenger and the driver's side of these windshield corners. We're also gonna tie in the back of the B-pillars to the birdcage and finish these corners up in the front to get the windshield all tied in. So we've got a lot of work to do, so be sure to stick around. Also, if you're new to the YouTube channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel. So if you're new to the project, you have a lot to catch up on. This split window was a pretzel. It was wrecked in the early 60s. The whole roof structure was screwed up. It was rusty, it was twisted, bent, like I said, into a pretzel. Replaced the bottom of the hinge pillar, made that from scratch, put new rockers on it, doing a lot of rust repair. So I have both of the B pillars welded in. I didn't just plug weld them. I decided to fully weld along all the seams just to try to make everything super strong. So now that those guys are both locked in, they can still move this way. So I can still adjust. I'll save this for last, the back cross member, and there's some rust repair to do. So next I'm gonna work on the windshield area. So I have this patch here. And you can see I'll have to splice it in here and make a splice back here because these aren't normal sections where, you know, there'd be a, a joint. So what I'm going to do for this pillar is take some of this square tubing. I'm going to cut this in half so I have two five inch sections, one for each pillar. And I'll put it in so it's like two and a half inches in. And I'll drill some holes in this here and on this side here, plug weld it. I'll leave a little bit of a gap here, so that way whenever I go and do my weld across here, it'll burn into this, the other piece, and to this. So it'll be super strong in here. I'll weld this thing the whole way around. I made this patch off of the piece I took off to get me pretty close. And again, it's another tape template. I used my trusty shear to cut this guy out and I made it a little big. That way I'd have some extra room to massage it. And now I'm just going to probably clean all these Sharpie marks off of it so I can make fresh ones. And now I'll start to shape. And then for the driver's side, pretty much completely missing just because it was really rusty and in really bad shape. I have this inner curve, that's about it. I need to make this outer part and the whole center skin. So ran this through the bead roller quite a few times. Really happy with the way this bead roller works, by the way. And this soft wheel works really well. Uh, you have to apply a decent bit of pressure. And the issue I was running into is it's a pretty short little part, so it's kind of hard to pull pressure on it without using pliers or something. So now I'm gonna throw it in the vise and just use a hammer and dolly just to try to finish it up. But it's kind of cool by bending this lip over, which you can't do in a brake because it's curved. It naturally puts 
the curve in the panel, which the panel kind of needs anyways. I'm really happy with the way this patch is fitting. You can see it's got a nice gap the whole way across here, so we'll have plenty of room for the bonding strip and the roof. That's nice. So I used the same process to finish this guy out that I did on the Misfit. I put this channel, clamped it along the edge, and kind of held this piece in place, tacked it on the top, and then I did all of my welding from the underside, because there was a little bit of a mismatch between the two pieces, just they kind of snaked, and one was a little higher, one was a little lower. So instead of trying to get that fit perfect, because it really doesn't matter at the end as long as it's flat, uh, I just left it as is, tacked it, Welded from the underside, so strong, ground the top off, and it looks looks good. So now I'm going to uh, prime the underside of this with the weld-through primer, just to hopefully keep it from rusting. Drill a couple holes in here, put some weld-through primer on everything over there, and we should be able to weld this guy in. So I'm gonna end this video off here. I have one more video on the birdcage to make, doing some final work here to get the gutters on and to finish up the back here, but I just wanted to bring you in and show you how these turned out. I'm really happy with them. They still need just a little bit more metal finish work, um, but everything turned out really nice. They're super strong. The profile's really nice. And with pretty simple metal fab tools, you can make this stuff in obviously a lot of time. And it really helps to have something good to make a template off of. This side's real nice too. So this will clean up nice. Like I said, just a little bit more metal finish work to do in the jams, but most of this gets covered up with the bonding strips and the roof and once the headliner's in here. I mean, you're not gonna see like any of this stuff, but I like to make it look nice because, well, I show you guys, but I always try to put my best foot forward whenever I do this stuff and make it look nice and make it strong and stuff. So this cage is turning out really nice and I'm working on another cage currently, which will be in a, video in a couple weeks. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, I have a lot of work to do on this birdcage. Next week, there's gonna be the final video on finishing up this birdcage. Then this thing's going off the powder coating and we're starting on the next car. And that one's also gonna go off the powder coating. Very soon, a lot of videos coming up, a lot of progress. And then after all that, you get to see me skin these guys in fiberglass. So like I said, I have a lot of work to do and I'll catch you guys later.